Bellator Fighting Championships live on MTV2, epicsandspike.com. From the USF Sundome in Tampa, Florida, it's Bellator 72. First up, the conclusion of the trilogy, watch him Spirit Wolf versus Marius Zoromskis. This fight on the feet throughout a kickboxing match. Marius Zoromskis moving forward behind the jab, mixing in his kicks. Watch him Spirit Wolf trying to counter him with big shots coming in. Tried to grapple a few times, but excellent takedown defense by Marius Zoromskis. Watch him Spirit Wolf not able to get this fight to the ground. It was all about the jab and strikes of Marius Zoromskis. On then to the light heavyweight tournament in semifinal number one, Tim Carpenter versus Travis View. Travis View said this will be an old school kind of fight. My wrestling versus his jujitsu. Tim Carpenter, a black belt, very slick off his back. And see this takedown. That's what Travis View was about all night long. Beautiful double legs, excellent power. And from there, ground and pound. An avalanche of shots throughout the fight. All 15 minutes, Travis View pressing the action, getting the takedown, staying on top, and punishing Tim Carpenter. Came close a few times with some submissions, but not able to finish the man they call Diesel. Travis View, a unanimous decision victory. On then the light heavyweight tournament, semifinal number two, Emmanuel Newton versus Attila Vague. Attila Vague known for his kickboxing, his outside game. Emmanuel Newton known for his wrestling, but this fight took place on the outside. Both guys trading shots, looking for a way in, but at long range, kicks, punches on the outside. Neither man able to land clean throughout. It was a back and forth kickboxing battle for 15 solid minutes. Emmanuel Newton able to get takedowns like this one, but not able to keep Attila Vague on his back or on the ground. Attila Vague turned it up in the third round, landed some good shots from the southpaw stance and earns a split decision victory. The light heavyweight tournament final is set, Attila Vague versus Travis View. On then to the 170 pound division, Rudy Bears versus Paul Daly. You see here, Paul Daly, the kickboxer, known for his knockout power, and that was on display tonight. Starting out with the tie plum, able to get some great knees going in. Bang! This left hand turned out the lights of Rudy Bears. He gets another knockout victory in the first round. And finally, in the welterweight tournament championship, Brian Baker versus Carl Amasu. We knew Carl Amasu was explosive and unpredictable, especially in the opening round. Brian the Beast Baker, happy to exchange on the feet, looked like a kickboxing match, but that would change later on in the first round. You see here throwing a kick, Brian Baker gets taken down and a beautiful inverted flying heel hook ends the night in the first round. Carl Amasu is our welterweight tournament champion. With that victory, Carl Amasu earns the right to face Bellator's undefeated 170 pound world champion, Ben Askren, for the title. For the latest Bellator news and information, it's bellator.com.